Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to use Lime, one of the most exciting, explainable AI algorithms out there. And very contrary to actually every single one of the videos that I've done for this channel, we'll stay away from tabular data. So we'll stay away from numbers, so ones and zeros and so on. And we'll actually focus on text. So we'll create a machine learning model to predict whether a certain text is either Catholic or atheist. And then we'll use Lime to help us understand why is our machine learning model predicting that way. The first thing that we need to do is that I want to install Lime. So pip install Lime. And here we go. And let's do control enter. And then the next step is to then to import some libraries and let's open a new cell control M B. And here what we do is, and after it has been installed, of course, and here we do import lime and then we import numpy as NP. Here we go. Control enter. And below it starts to prepare the data and also get it. So control MB to get a new cell. And here we go. So from sklearn dot data sets, we are going to import fetch the 20 news groups. And here we go. And here we go. So let's create two categories. Categories equals two open square brackets. And then inside in single quotes, the first one is alt and then atheism. And then the second one would be SOC SOC and then religion and then dot Christian. And here we go. Let's also put everything under single quotes. And here we go, because it's time to go to the next line. And here we do. So we create our train train equals to we use the fetch uh, that we have just imported. So fetch 20 news groups. And then we create so subset equals to and then in single quotes train and then categories. And here we go. So categories equals categories that we have just created. And then the other one is the test. So test equals two. And then again, fetch and then the 20 news groups and inside okay so subset equals to the exact same thing single quotes test and now in hindsight i should have actually just copy paste what was above but no harm no fall and here you go categories again categories and here we go let's do control enter it can take a few minutes so let's wait a bit and i'll pause the video for now all right, we are back and let's create a new cell because now we need to vector. So vectorization. And the goal here is that since we have everything on a text type of data, we need to transform it in a way that it can be understood by our machine learning model of choice, which will be the random forest. So vectorization. And here we go. And equals to and then sklearn dot feature extraction. And here we go. So underscore extraction. And here dot text dot and with me. So capital T F I D F vectorizer. A vectorizer. And then open the parenthesis. And then let's put lower case equals to false. And here we go. Let's go below. And with this, we create our train vectors. And we create the test vectors. So equals to and then we use the vectorizer that we have just created. So the first line is really about creating this kind of function that works through our train and our test set to prepare it. So we use our vectorizer vectorizer god i'm horrible at spelling and dot and then fit underscore transform 
and here we go. And then inside, we just include our train dot data. And we copy this and we put it below. And the key difference is that first, of course, instead of train is test and as well here. But the key difference is that we want to fit and transform the train, but we just want to transform the test vectors. And here we go. So control enter. And there is one thing that I failed, which is to import the sklearn. Here we go. Now it should work out. And again, so let me copy this and put it here. And here we go. Now, yes, and we can now move on to our random forest. And here we go. And again, let's not make the same mistake. So from sklearn dot ensemble, we import the random forest classifier, then we create our model. And our model equals to our random forest classifier, open the parentheses, and then let's include the number of estimators. And let's put 100. And then we just fit so model dot fit and then inside we input our train underscore vectors and then what we also need to include is actually our y and our y is our train dot target and here we go so control enter and it is done so now it's finally time that we do lime and let's import a couple more things so from sklearn dot pipeline we import make pipeline so make underscore pipeline and then as well so from lime dot lime underscore text and then here we import our lime text explainer and now let's create a couple of class names so class underscore names equals to open the square brackets and then atheism and here we go and then on the right we put christian and here we go and now it is correct so christian not christiana and here you go so next step is to create a pipeline with the library that we have just created so c equals to and then make underscore pipeline and then inside we include the vectorizer and then as well we include our model and then we create our finally explainer object with our lime text explainer and then inside we include our class names that we have just created so class names equals to and then class underscore names so let's do shift enter and then here we go and to have a look at them what we need to do is test dot data and then inside the square bracket so we put up until 10 and if i look at this one cool one that would be interesting would actually be let's say the last one so amusing atheist and anarchist so let's use lime to understand why would the model predict this given email why it would be an atheism or a christian one and here we go so let's create another cell so predict given instance so predict given instance and let's create this index so index equals to nine and then we create our explanation so x equals to use the explainer that we have just created to explain an instance and inside what we include so we include our test dot data so this is the instance and it is inside it is our index so number nine so it is the last one which is the tenth one because in python index starts at zero next we predict the probability so this classifier fn and the way that we do is so classifier 
and then underscore fn equals to, and then we use what we created above. So this pipeline, which is our C, so C and then dot predict and then underscore prob from probability. And then here we go. Last step is so number of features, how many do I want? And let's include 10 and let's do control enter. And it is thinking a bit and it has done. So let's create the next one, which is our last line of code. We write our exp dot and then we show in notebook and then text equals to true. This is so that as you'll see, it will highlight some key parameters. And here we go. And as we can see, so let's have a look. So for our random forest, it is a bit here and there. So it doesn't clearly know why it is. This is why for our random forest, this email is 55% Christian and 45% atheist. And then we can see here why it includes. So where is this thing coming from? So it includes this, you know, keys and the, apparently the word and goes to Christian. But if it has article atheists, apparently Timmons or RE or rights, then it falls more into the atheist kinds of email. And we could do this with many. So let's include here. So instead of index nine, index 15, and let's do the same. And here we go. And let's see what we get here. So this one is a bit more on the Christian side. So 75% Christian, 25% atheist. And then we see here, so it highlights the words over here. And of course, this is such a simple approach for text data. Arguably, we should have removed the words like the, which are just filler words, but because they appear so much, then our machine learning model actually tries to find some correlation like it is doing, like for instance, from here. And this is something that when you do it on your own task or your own project, this is something that you need to tweak it. So you really need to clean a bit your text data because text data is really unstructured in a way. So in order to be fed into a machine learning model, the preparation really needs to be there. I hope though that you actually now feel ready, but at least know how to use Lime into a text classification type of problem. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in another video. And until then, have fun.